No, they exist. People just are afraid of them for some reason. If you can't walk in heels, you can learn to walk in heels. It's very easy um, after you've had a little practice. There's a couple things you want to take into consideration. I'm going to show you two of my most comfortable pair of heels and show you why they work. So here's my first pair and you may go, you're insane. Um, all of my heels have some kind of ankle strap for support so I'm not having to really flex that ankle muscle to hold them on. You want to make sure that this strap does not go directly across your ankle bone but goes underneath it for some support or over if the strap is really thick over that ankle bone. Then we have the platform. So this is a four inch heel, but this platform is about two inches. So in reality, I'm standing on what feels like a two inch heel. If there were no platform here, this would put the pitch of my foot much higher and be more difficult to walk in. The other thing is the placement of the stiletto. So if this heel were back here, like a lot of the Louboutins are, it would put the weight on the back of my heel, not at the dead center of it. So my heel is here, that's dead center. So that is a weight distribution thing you want to look into. These are my wedding shoes and these have rubber on the bottom because we were walking across cobblestones. This pitch is a lot higher and the platform is a lot smaller. So I only wore them, I wore them for like six or seven hours and was fine. But because this heel is chunkier, you have more to balance on. So the rubber on the bottom of the sole and the chunkier heel makes it easier to balance on. So it's a matter of ankle support. It's a matter of the width of the heel being appropriate for you. It's a matter of the placement of the actual heel itself being dead center in the middle of your heel on your foot. And that pitch not being something that you can't handle. If you have very flat feet, a platform is actually going to be better because it's going to give you the illusion of a more arched foot with more support. But just like anything else, you need to practice walking in them. So put them on, do a lap around your house, stretch them out, do what you gotta do. The least practical heel is going to be a peep toe heel with no ankle support in my opinion, because most people's feet are not peep toe width and it ends up squeezing, like the toe box ends up squeezing your toes. So a sandal's great because it gives your, room, your toes room to breathe if you need that. And if you want, Rub your feet down with CBD lotion about an hour before you put on the heels and it should take away any pain that you'd have. Heels are a skill. They're, it's an easy skill to learn. Um, it just takes some practice. Why wouldn't you want to be 100 feet tall? I love being 100 feet tall and towering over everybody. Three, five, fo, fum. I smell the blood of someone that needs to learn how to walk in their damn heels. Have a good day.